Hi guys and welcome back to another new toy video. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you the Tantalee Britney 2.0. There is absolutely loads to tell you so enough waffling from me, let's get into the video. Hi guys, I'm UK Daz as always and as I said at the start of the video I will be telling you all about the Britney 2.0 from Tantalee. If you haven't heard of Tantalee before, they're an American founded company that make realistic sex doll torsos. So what's coming up in today's video? Well firstly I'm going to give you an unboxing video of the Britney 2.0 from Tantalee. Then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the toy and then I'm going to give you my review. Now I know this doesn't sound a lot but this is basically free toys in one as you have the vaginal opening the anal opening and you have the boobs so let's start the video off by unboxing it okay guys as always i like to show the outside of the box to show how discreet the packaging is as you can see there are no labels that says the toy is from tantalee but what you will notice it says made in china on the outside box which is not going to tell you what's inside it was actually quite funny to watch my delivery driver drop it off he literally had no idea now i do have to apologize for a different camera angle my apartment is small and i don't have a surface big enough to hold the box so i had to think on my feet and make a bit of room on the floor and i'm going to open it from here and just to give you some comparison on how big this box is i've brought in a toy box that i've just had delivered so again i do apologize for it looking rough around the edges so what i'm going to do now is open up our external box inside this box is another box and this one is the branded tantaly one i do actually like the idea of no images on the internal box and this is because if the external box is ever damaged all they're ever going to see is the name so i'm going to cut this box open now and show you what's inside this one be careful when opening this box as there's a greater chance of damaging what's underneath and as you'll quickly see the holder that our toy comes in is just located underneath so I'm going to take this out of the box and I'm going to start unpacking what's inside. I do like this is a hard top box. This is something that's going to protect your toy whilst it's being shipped and whilst you're storing it when you're not using it. There are two zips located on the front of the bag and underneath you'll find your polystyrene box that protects your toy. On the top of the box you'll find that you've got a maintenance manual. This tells you the best practices on how to look after and maintain your toy. Underneath that you'll also find that Tantalee have provided a drying stick. More about how to use that later in the video. Finally on top of the box you'll find the Tantalee magazine. In here you'll find articles on the toys and how to look after them. Okay let's get this lid off and finally show you the Britney 2.0 from Tantalee. It was at this point I was going to take the toy out the box and show you it jiggling about. But then I remembered how much YouTube likes giving me strikes. I know many other people have shown more but I don't want to risk my channel. As you can see the Britney doll comes in its own wrapped individual bag. Just add some lube and it's ready to go. If you have enjoyed this video so far please do hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell for future videos. And if I have inspired you to buy yourself a Britney 2.0 doll then there is a link in the description below. So there you have it, that's what you get when you buy the Britney 2.0 from Tantalee. Now you might be wondering what the difference is between the Britney and the Britney 2.0. The people over at Tantalee have made significant changes on how they use TPE. I think they've patented this technique and they've made it so it's softer. And the way they've used these advances in their technology on the Britney 2.0 is they've made the breasts extremely soft and more realistic. They've also used this technology on the bum, which makes it also more realistic. Moving on now, I'm going to give you a little bit more information about the toy. The Britney torso is made of TPE. It measures 19.3 inches tall and that's 49 centimeters. And it weighs in at 12.4 kilograms, which is 27.3 pounds. The vaginal opening is 1.2 centimeters in diameter. And obviously that's going to stretch. The vaginal canal measures 6.9 inches long, which is 17.5 centimeters. The anal canal opening is 5 millimeters in diameter. It measures 5.3 inches long, which is 13.5 centimeters. And as you can see on the screen, both holes have different textures inside. As you saw in the unboxing video, the Britney 2.0 comes with its own storage box. The box measures 22 inches long, 17.5 inches wide, and 11.4 inches in height. 
And for those who only deal in metric measurements, that's 56.5 centimeters long, 44.4 centimeters wide, and 29 centimeters tall. One really nice little detail on the bag is that it comes with a compartment on the side that you can store any accessories you've got for the Britney 2.0. So in there, you can put in your lube, any cleaning accessories that you may have, and some clothing. And Tantelli do sell a lot of products on how to clean and look after your toy on their website. So that's a lot of the boring information out of the way. The only thing left to do now is try it out. Okay guys, it's review time. And as you can see, my lovely assistant has stepped away to freshen up. Kind of gross, I know, but I did use both holes whilst testing it. You probably can already guess that I've enjoyed using both of them. And they both do have their own unique qualities. Whilst using both holes, you can feel twists and turns as you're entering. And believe it or not, you can also feel the textures inside. Now, because the toy is quite heavy, it weighs in at 12 kilos, as I said. So when you're using it, you do have to find a comfortable position that you can sort of hold it upright in or just have it laying down whilst you're using it. Something that was quite surprising is as you start sort of frosting into the toy, it reacts because of the silicon, it's so soft, the whole body sort of moves as it would like a real person almost. So yes, the boobs was flapping around and the butt was jiggling about. If I had to criticize one thing, it would be that it is quite difficult if you haven't got the right attachments to clean it. So the way I had to clean it was I had to turn it upside down and hold it. I went into the shower and opened up the holes that were full. And it was quite difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I had to sort of open the hole up, get my fingers in the holes and sort of make sure the water's getting in there and removing any sort of leftovers. And because it was quite wet, it was getting sort of slippery. Uh, so it's a bit more tricky to hold on to. So if you do decide to buy one, make sure to get the cleaning kit. It's basically like giving a toy a douche. It comes with like a water bottle at one end and a pipe on the other and you sort of put it in the toy and pump the water in and out and it sort of clears, cleans the holes out. And I did also see on the Tantalee website that they do sell an electric one, so it makes it even easier. If you're gonna spend that sort of money on a toy, you're gonna to wanna make sure you look after it properly, so it's well worth buying. Anything that makes it easier to clean it means you're gonna use it more. You don't want it to be a chore to clean, so just make sure to get the cleaning kit. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure you buy a couple of extra drying sticks. I have actually seen reviewers say, use this instead of washing the toy. Don't do that. Every toy needs to be cleaned properly. This is just for drying. What I normally use is like a baby soap to wash out the toy. I then dry it off with a towel and I leave it to air dry. And my toy's on the floor air drying at the moment. I've actually got it sitting up so gravity is making the water fall down. Then what I'm going to do is get a dry cloth and just wipe out the inside of the holes. Now that I've got the drying stick, I'm going to put it in afterwards and let it suck up any moisture that I can't actually reach. And these sticks will go fully into the toy. Once it's fully dry inside, I am going to get some corn flour and I'm going to put it all over the toy basically and in the holes. The corn flour makes sure that the toy stays extremely soft. It also makes sure that if there is any moisture left over, it absorbs it. And that's how I look after all my toys. And I'm doing the same with this. Once I am sure it's completely dry, I am gonna store it back in the box that it came in. The Britney 2.0 is not Tantalee's only product. They do also have a wide range of butts and other torsos. So make sure to check out the full range on their website. If I have inspired you to buy the Britney 2.0, there is a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, it doesn't cost you any more to use, but it does give me a very small percentage of Tantalee's profits should you buy something. If you have got any questions, feel free to drop them on the comments box below on my blog or come and find me on social media. All those links are also listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell for future videos. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time, peace out.